Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenny and I'm a wedding photographer and family portrait photographer based in Winchester, Hampshire in the UK. So I started this channel because I wanted to practice video techniques, but it's also a place where people who are planning their wedding in Hampshire can find some tips and tricks to do with wedding planning. This week's video is focused on some video techniques that I have found useful, um, particularly three things that I use for creating more dynamic videos. So with videos, obviously the more dynamic they are, then the more engaging and interesting they are. So obviously the main difference between video and photography is that in video you have movement but for a video to be exciting or dynamic or be interesting to look at you need the right kind of movement so it's not particularly enjoyable to watch something that is quite shaky or jittery when the footage is kind of really shaky in the edges um, it's not a great look um, but it is difficult to get smooth movement without having uh, some sort of a stabilizer um, like a gimbal or a tripod um, but if you don't have any of those to hand you just have your camera and you're having to shoot a video then I keep three things in mind to get movement in the video footage and also to keep it relatively steady Okay, so I have a little saying in my head when I go out without a stabilizer and I'm out shooting a video and that is earth, wind and fire. Now I'm going to show you example clips of what I mean as I talk to you about it. But the first one is earth. So earth means I need to ground myself and um, lean against something if possible to stabilize myself and then not move and let the action take place in front of me. Um, the other thing is sometimes I put down the camera onto the ground itself or onto a very stable surface and again let the action sort of take place in front of the camera without actually moving the camera itself. Then for wind, well, it's been very windy in the UK recently and I've had a lot of opportunity uh, basically filming the wind in the trees and the leaves moving around. Um, I quite enjoy doing that. But um, during a wedding, for example, a nice thing to do there is um, say if there's a window open, say a wedding prep, um, and maybe I could hang the veil in front of an open window, something like that, and you've got even the, the curtains or the veil moving with the wind, so that's quite a nice thing to do. And the third one is fire. Now, I don't mean fire itself, although I have videoed actual fire, um, because you've got the crackling and the, the movement of the flame, that's uh, obviously um, movement. But what I mean by fire is actually the sun itself and having that source of light moving across a scene um, or playing with the shadows that the kind of sun uh, casts. Um, that's another way of actually adding interest and adding movement to a static scene. So with weddings, sometimes what I will do um, when I'm photographing maybe detail, so it's a static scene, I will actually take out an additional light source um, or maybe put it kind of near a window and uh, create shadows across that static scene and then video that. So that way you're actually adding movement too. Okay, well, that's it for me. I hope you found that useful. Uh, come back again next week where I will be talking about camera gadgets and various video gadgets for you. Thanks. Bye.